cuties. This week was pretty low key, not a lot happened, but I don't know about you all, I've been a little confused by the weather. It feels too much like spring, and then it's making me like a little excited for spring, which I don't like to feel that way in February because here in Chicago, it's like spring doesn't really come till like May. I like to embrace every bit of winter, and then March is kind of like a special transition time between winter and spring that I like to embrace, but it's feeling like March right now. Anyway, long story short, I did a bunch of cozy winter activities this week and I'm trying to still embrace winter. I'm trying to stay in this mindset because I know I'll get burned if I get so excited about spring and then it just keeps not being spring. So that's what this vlog is about. Enjoy. Hello cuties and sweeties. I have a doctor's appointment. I'm getting a ultrasound on my uterus because I have a little fibroid that's living in there. Actually, for those who are interested, my fibroid is actually, turns out, what was causing all my PCOS symptoms. And I'm actually cleared for PCOS at the moment, which is pretty cute. It's all fibroid. Long story short, I've been taking these meds daily since June. So what is that, seven, eight months or something? Some shit. We're gonna take a look up there and see if it's shrunk at all because apparently these meds can shrink a fibroid. Anyone else dealing with this kind of stuff? I hate these appointments. I've had to get several of them in recent years. You have to drink all this water so that your bladder's full and then you have to like in the waiting room, waiting to be called with a full bladder. It's just uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable and I'm, I'm just like sitting there going, oh my God, am I gonna pee my pants? And that makes me feel even more like I'm gonna pee my pants. Anyway, Brian's coming with me, isn't that so sweet? And then we're going to swing by the bookseller because I ordered a book and it came in. It's the gamache book that I'm missing from my collection. Also, a few of you have written to me talking about how you're starting to read the gamache books. And I did wanna just say something that I said in the comments in my last video, but I'll say it here as well. There's some very out of date language in some of those books. And in fact, I just finished reading book nine and there's one character who's a reoccurring character who she regularly describes as a large black woman. And she's still doing that in book nine. And I've heard from people who love these books that that eventually stops. But I'm just like, when will it stop? Are you fucking kidding me? Nine books and we're still describing this person that way. So I just wanted to give you that warning. Overall, I'm enjoying the series. And tonight we're having friends over to watch a movie. Brian is a member of SAG. So he got all these screeners and we've been slow going through them all. So we're gonna have friends over, we're gonna pick a screener and watch it. This is gonna be a really good midwinter vibes week. All right, let's go get a wand shoved up my vagina. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you understand now? <laughs> he doesn't, he'll never understand. <laughs> it, these, the, these things are, <laughs> these things are this long. What are you talking about? It's this big. Eric's just being a block of look at, look Eric's at the, just being look weird at the about the title. Absolutely not being weird. <laughs> I'm gonna hold the movies up and you guys give it a yay or nay. I don't know this. I, I, I would like to see it, but I think it's going to be incredibly sad. Too intense? Okay. May, December. No. All right. Ferrari. No, I would watch it. Ferrari. I don't Yesterday was the last day of the 30 day yoga challenge, which I always get like weirdly emotional at the end. So I was considering taking a break today, but I think what I'll do instead is like a little 15 minute yoga. Usually I do yoga on weekdays and then I give myself the weekends off. So let me just keep going till the weekend. I just finished yoga and I have an email. Billy Joel's new single came out. It's his first single in like decades. In case y'all don't know, I'm a huge Billy Joel fan. I'm a Billy head. Wait, can I zoom in? Oh no, I can't. <laughs> Let's listen. I'm late. I love you and I don't want to go to work. What? Wow, 
does the world make me have to go to work when I've got a cute doggy? I only have one meeting today and it's with my boss who's cool as hell. So I thought it would be okay to wear my Appa sweatshirt to work. Look who pulled up at the same time as me. It's fucking Arilla. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if y'all know. She's, I mention her in every vlog. There she is. Again, we're taking a lunch walk. <laughs> but look how pretty the ice is. And there's Chicago. Isn't it cute? Okay, bye. Since it's such a beautiful sunny day, my boss and I are gonna do our one on one meeting out here, too. I'm just gonna get my steps in, get so much fresh air. What a great photo. Aww. It's beautiful. It's my baby. <laughs> it's a baby. It's my baby bud. <laughs> Here's something fun that happened today at work. This person I follow on Instagram, Brittany Gowan. We follow each other because we have like super similar interests like nature and plants and shit like that. She sent me her book. So this was like waiting for me on my desk at work today. Isn't that so sweet? What a sweet little treat to like have waiting for you at your desk. You know what I'm saying? Wow, I just came home and Brian made freaking English muffins using sourdough starter that our friend gave us. Actually, this is the sourdough starter discard. This is oh. the stuff that like went wrong, but I still use it and I still have a bunch more. Okay, so last night when I was talking to Eric, he suggested that for my book, I set aside 15 minutes a day to just free write. So not necessarily like writing the book, but writing like, hello, it's me, Meredith, and I'm thinking about my book right now. And here, this, here are some things I thought about or whatever it is. I started that today. So I think I'm gonna add it to my routine tracking in my journal. So right now I have days I got 10,000 steps, days I did yoga, and days I finished a book. So I think I'm gonna add another one. Brown is gonna mean I did a 15 minute writing session. So today, February 1st, I, Got 10,000 steps, I did yoga, and I did a 15 minute free ride. Cool. I just did my free writing exercise of the day and I did some yoga. I'm sipping my coffee. I'm hosting another co-working day today, but this is just with three of my oldest work friends. We used to be on teams together. I'm gonna make soup. I'm gonna spoil them. But my first friend is gonna be here in the eight o'clock hour. So that's an hour from now. I should probably get ready. Okay, Sarah's here and she's gonna show me how to make a sweater vest yeah. by end of day today. Yeah. This is what I'll be making by 5 p.m. today. <laughs> Check this out, I'm almost there. I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be done by five. Got a chance. <laughs> hey y'all, it's 3.45, so I have one hour and 15 minutes to go from this to this. No problem. A new Crazy Crafty Day was a success. And then I took a nap. And now I'm in a real outfit because we're going on a date with Denise. Here's my question. I'm wearing, honestly, it's a Totoro shirt underneath this. Does it like keep looking like I have like white spots on my, uh, I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna wear it. Okay, okay, should Brian, Denise and I do some silly sketches on this YouTube channel? Is that a magic ape? It's a fucking dog, guys. If you love him, you love him. You don't know? like stay the fuck away. It's a dog. <laughs> friends who are like, I read Iron Flame in like three days. I don't like how, how? I've been reading it all week. This is how far I am. It's like a sliver, a sliver of the book. <laughs> and I don't know, I just, there's like, whatever the politics of this world is, I get really confused by it. I like the dragon stuff. Yeah, 600 pages, it's freaking 619. Here I go though. Alright y'all, so this is so embarrassing. It's like 
I almost don't want to admit that I did this, but remember how the other day I was like, I have to go to the hospital and get this thing, and then I'm gonna go to the bookstore and treat myself, and then I like filmed myself walking out with my book and stuff. Well, guess what? I already fucking had the book. So, I have to return this. <laughs> And I'm so embarrassed, especially because I special ordered it to this bookstore because it's my favorite bookstore and I want to support them. And I was like, can you please order this to your store so I can buy it from you? And now I'm just going to walk right back in there and like fucking return it. I'm embarrassed. But I'll buy a different book from them. I will. This is the look of a woman who truly fucked up. Didn't take the time to just look at what book she already had. Here comes my walk of shame. Just let them see your true myself a mocktail. I'm in a wearable blanket that I got for myself and Tom. Really hope Tom's not watching this because it'll get spoiled. I'm gonna do my free writing. I've been reading this book for so long. Here's how far I am. It's not enough, not enough to feel you. Gotta show me show you all this. Way back in college, my friend Maggie taught me how to crochet and I learned one pattern and this is that one pattern. And I used it for years and I made so many blankets. This is like the biggest blanket ever. It's like 8 billion layers. So all my loved ones have blankets in this pattern. It's the only thing I've learned. Then when Tan got us the wooble, it was so fun to like get back into crocheting again. And then I mentioned it to my friend Sarah and that's why she's helping me build this sweater vest. But it's just fun. It's so nice to like have a little project sitting here that I can pick up whenever I want and just kind of mindlessly work at it and listen to an audio book and have all this yarn sitting here. It just brings me joy. So yeah, all you crocheters out there, I want to be like you. Look what Brian made. Will you explain one more time? <laughs> They're pancakes made from sourdough starter discard. You have to feed a, sour a sourdough starter a lot before you can actually make bread with it. And that process includes discarding a lot of the starter over and over again over the course of days. And so this is some of the discard. It is absolutely way too much work to maintain a sourdough starter. But we're learning and it's fun. Hey cuties. Okay, so I started editing this vlog a little bit and I did my 15 minute writing session and oh my goodness, I think I came up with something really pivotal plot wise. So I'm really thankful to Eric for suggesting I do these and I wanna keep doing them every day in February or at least try. But it's good to just keep thinking about this book, especially like I wanna work on it while it's winter because it's a winter book. I don't know, I feel more inspired. I kind of wrote about this on my Facebook group. I think creative writing is just something we should be doing more often. You don't have to have an end goal. Like you don't have to be like, I want to write a whole book or you can be like, I do want to write a book, but not for any real reason. You know what I'm saying? It's like very fulfilling. That and working with our hands. This is what winter is all about. Use your hands, use your brain, use your imagination and get in a blanket, blanket, hands, imagination. Anyway, I'm gonna pause all of this and go take a bath because I didn't shower yesterday. And we're gonna go see our friend Shadi in a play at 2.30. Brian made these crackers from scratch. Can you even freaking believe it? More sourdough discard stuff. I love this sourdough experiment. <laughs> I'm benefiting. Where I'm like, this isn't worth it. This is a lot of work. And Meredith's like, this is great. Yeah. Oh, Amazing. 
made us cry. It is very, it very is sad. very sad. But oh my gosh, our friend Shadi gave the performance of a fucking lifetime. And we didn't know that she could do it either because she we know her from Comedy World, but she did it. Yeah. She, had a great dramatic performance. I mean, I knew she could do it, but she does make me laugh. Y'all might remember <laughs> Shadi from my Vegas vlog. She's the one who oh, yeah. <laughs> made her mouth into a vessel so that that uh, stripper man could pour water down his yeah. abdomen into her mouth. And if you mouth. go see the play, make sure you mention that. <laughs> Oh my god, shoddy! She's so talented. Love you guys. Hope that you have a wonderful week and that you're having some cozy winter fun. Love you! Bye!